Welcome back my YouTube friends and family and happy Thursday. We've almost made it to the end of the week. This is Lindsay and I am back with more daily work from home job leads for you. We'll make today's video a little bit shorter than normal. I have just four job leads for you. One is from Twitch Amazon and they are paying over $2,000 a week. One is literally answering emails and social media messages. So if you're looking for that non-phone customer support, hopefully I have a mixed bag, a little bit of something for everyone. As always, timestamps, links, any additional information you need to get to anything that I'm sharing, get those applications in, are always in the YouTube description box below this video. I do just ask that if you enjoy anything that I share, give this video a thumbs up like button that does give me that direct feedback. But diving on in, first up we have HP, otherwise known as Hewlett Packard, the computer and electronic company. They have 11,000 reviews on Glassdoor, an overall employee satisfaction rating of 4.1 out of 5 stars. And they are looking for an escalation case associate. Now, one thing I want to quickly note about this position is it doesn't say in the actual job description that it is remote. However, it is marked remote on multiple different job boards that I saw it on. And then when it talks about pay and things like that, it keeps referencing applies to U.S. candidates only. So I do fully believe this is a complete remote role without any state restrictions. But of course, I don't work for any of these companies. I am simply sharing what I find online. But Hewlett Packard is paying anywhere from $20.08 an hour up to $26.09 an hour. And they're really looking for somebody to just be responsible for validating their customer entitlement, log cases, and routing and dispatching to the appropriate end user for the proper resources. So you're monitoring services through completion of compliance and managing service requests that you're getting from customers. You'll also be reviewing some of that customer feedback, making sure that you're analyzing it and related to customer access, phone, case management, just providing resolution and feedback based on the reporting and analysis that you're looking at. Now they are looking for somebody who has a high school diploma or GED. While they prefer some college education, it's not required as long as you have five years of a general work experience or a combination of experience and education. You've gotta have great communication skills, great problem solving skills, great computer skills, great time management skills, organizational skills, all the things. Now moving on along, next up we have Elevate Labs. Now please note Elevate Labs is a startup company so they don't have a lot of reviews from past and current employees yet. They only have 19 reviews so I always urge you do your own research on any companies before giving them your personal information. They have a perfect 5.0 out of 5 star rating out of those 19 reviews though. They are looking for a full-time remote customer service agent. Now this is going to be non-phone. They don't have any state restrictions. You can be anywhere in the United States, but they do want you to align your working hours tailored to the schedule in specific standard time zone. They are looking for somebody to be their customer advocate through inbound email and social channel customer support. So you are basically answering questions and giving this customer support. You're answering those emails and then those social media messages and comments that are coming in. Of course, in customer service, you're always striving for that one touch resolution, multitasking with a volume of inbound context with high attention to detail. So this sounds like you're going to have quite a high volume of emails and social media messages to respond to. Other than answering their questions and responding to their messages, you are going to have to kind of pay attention as your the messages are coming in and try to identify any trends or technical issues and escalate those up. But they don't require any kind of college degree, just three years of customer service experience. They do prefer somebody who has two years experience working with like educational apps or software, somebody who is tech savvy, has like that tech support experience and working with those non-phone systems like Zendesk ticketing systems. Of course, you've got to have great communication skills, a great attention to detail and the ability to be empathetic and have a passion for customer service. Now, sadly, I don't work for any of these companies. I don't have any additional information outside of the job posting. This one did not list pay that'll need to be discussed with them at the time of the interview. 
But if you're looking for something in like the more medical healthcare field, Vituity is hiring. They have 569 reviews on Glassdoor with an overall employee satisfaction rating of 4.2 out of 5 stars. They are looking for a medical content reviewer. This is remote nationwide for the United States and no state restrictions. Now, Vituity is a technology company that's trying to invest in technologies in the healthcare space, trying to transform the way healthcare is. And so they are really looking for somebody to help with their AI and machine learning by crafting expert responses and showcasing knowledge of medical principles so the machine learning can learn different things about healthcare data. You're going to be given healthcare data samples and you're going to analyze and review these samples based on the metrics or information provided to you. And you're really evaluating these samples, making sure that you evaluate the ones that are priority in a multi-step project. So you're going to be doing a data entry for the AI for input for the data learning model. Now, this does require that you have eligibility to work in the United States, that you have experience in some kind of healthcare related field. It doesn't say that you have to have any specific healthcare education. You do have to be good with computers and using different software systems like Google Sheets or like Microsoft Excel. But again, no college degree is needed. Now, one thing I do want to note about this position, I do hope this is a typo. They said that their salary for this position is, that looks like $60 to me. It is 60.00. I think it is because it is mentioning salary. Maybe they meant to put $60,000 a year is what I'm assuming. But again, I don't work for any of these companies. I'm simply sharing what I find online. That'll need to be discussed with them at the time of the interview. And of course, last but not least, we have Amazon or Twitch hiring. I did not know Twitch was associated with Amazon, but Amazon has 213,000 reviews. They really need no introduction. They have an overall employee satisfaction rating of 3.7 out of 5 stars. And they are looking for a product manager content moderation for their Twitch interactive division. Now, if you're interested in applying, it says that this job is also posted on Twitch's career site, but you can also apply here right here on Amazon. But Twitch is a large streaming service. And so they are really looking for somebody to lead the development for their customer focused product strategy and vision of their online community health, making sure that their content moderation tooling meets the user needs. Now, one thing about this position though, it is remote, but they are really looking for somebody to work those West Coast or specific standard time zone hours. But if you are on the West Coast, you'll basically be monitoring key performance indicators, analyzing metrics from Twitch's online community, making sure that the impact for feature releases are identified areas of improvement. You are really just learning from the feedback that comes back from the users and the customers of the Twitch, their online community, looking at their online behavior and other data sources to identify any pain points and help make sure that new features that are coming out are the ones that the people want, that you're building the right features or correcting the right features in the program over time. So you are going to be working with multiple departments, including like engineering and technology. So you are basically trying to find out what the people want and making sure that the new releases of Twitch's online community includes those new features. Now they do prefer somebody who has a degree in technology or business related field. It is not actually required though. What is required though is three years of work experience either as a product manager or somebody who has experienced building consumer products. So somebody who has a track record of maybe launching products, trust and safety, somebody who can drive clarity and balance with the stakeholders and the internal departments. Of course, you've got to be able to communicate complex technical concepts in a very easy to understand way and just to be a problem solver comfortable diving into those technical problems. Now, if you have the product management knowledge, pay for this position is on the low end, $116,300 a year. That is over $2,000 a week, up to $201,100 a year. 
All right, if you've made it to the end of this video, I owe you a huge thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for watching and supporting me. As always, feel free to leave in the comments anything that you're looking for. I do read those and keep that in mind. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like button if you enjoyed it. Share with all your friends and family, and I'll be back really, really soon with more work from Home Job Leads just for you.